Okay, I'm bored waiting for play two new Megazords. I can't wait to review one of those experiments. Maybe I'll tell you what it is at the end of the video. I am not excited about it. It's not even out yet. Actually, it is. I saw it at Target the other day. Um, today we are looking at a figure that should not exist. Aha! Peace Hunter's Dreadwing. For those who don't know, Dreadwing dies at the end of Season 2 after being blasted through the chest by Megatron. This figure should not exist. His brother Skyhammer is also dead. Actually, Skyhammer's a zombie. Or Terracon. My, in my, when I was born, back in the 80s, Terracons were not these guys. They were not zombified these guys. It was these guys. I'm not even kidding. These guys were these guys were originally called the Terracons. I do not have the original Terracons. My brother did not have them. The closest thing he had to a G1 Transformer. I'm not even kidding. That was combinable, just a combined G1 combiner was incomplete devastator. Um, Dreadling should not exist, logically, but I should point out, Hasbro has a bad habit. When they released this season of Transformers, they really, really, I mean really, like to release figures either that are retains of the Japanese versions, from, in this case, Transformers Go, or just sell figures. Uses weapons, a missile launcher staff thing. Let's transform him into robot mode. A lot of landing gear in the next few days. Especially his legs pig in and it's nice point very tight. Pulling down the legs here. Now we are not making a gear walk mode. But we could. Gerwalk. This would actually be a Gerwalk. Gerwalk is from Robotech slash Super Dimension Fortress Macross and is a jet basically with legs. Also known as North America's Guardian Mode. This is in between transformation for their robots. They have a jet mode and a robot mode. So, all deadly. We'll pull down the legs the rest of the way. I reveal that chest. And. And it does not want to be Pull up the arm guards. And pull the arms out of the way. Yes, there we go. And. And then, I can't show you this, but it's just. Hey, there we go. And then let's just put it in the backpack, and then let's just pay him like this. Take the nose cone, bring it out, and it's just pull it along. Like that. We are not even close to being done. Pull down his, pull the, actually, and pull his arms, pull them down. Flaps in. There's a dip one. And then he's got this. And then you pull down the arm guards again. And then you're probably wondering what we're going to do with these wings. Well, you may notice they're segmented. Maybe. Let me do this right. Pull it out. These segmented wings. Why a giant jet? Transformers are usually giant compared to humans. We need segmented wings. I never know. Um, uh, Dreadwing actually dies in the second season because he confronted Starscream about zombieing his brother.
Let's talk to me behind my tail cam. Snow hammer. Who do you have today? You know, Nico, Jack, and uh, Dr. Neil, the new pocket dimension. He kind of can call the staff. It's also a peg call on the back where you peg it in and see if I'm like, yeah, I'm not playing here. And that, and that's struggling. I should be getting the Vegas Arts this weekend, and this week, hopefully. Oh yeah, I'm too excited. The mystery mega, mm. the mystery Megazord is this year's main Megazord, the legendary Megazord. Not to be confused with my cat, with my legacy Megazord I reviewed already. The, leg the legendary Megazord can't say legendary for some reason today. Is Gukayo, a new Megazord, which Rangers powers for really bug me. It's been reduced to a power mode. It's bad enough in season two when they just eliminated suits, but now they're reducing it to the power up mode. Okay, this is just annoying. I'll see you next time, and hopefully it'll be the Universal Ultimate or Gukayo. Thanks, Kyle. See you.